As technology develops, scientists from all around the world are capable of making incredible breakthroughs in science that help us to better understand the very nature of reality. It seems that recently, however, there have been many new discoveries that have led to even larger questions than ever previously imagined. These discoveries not only leave scientists scratching their heads as to what they can be, but also seem to be completely unexplainable when looking at the sources of these discoveries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five different mysterious discoveries that science still can't explain. The Voynich Manuscript Back in 1912, a Polish book dealer had purchased a strange manuscript that had no backstory or explanation on its discovery, and was most likely to have been in the possession of a black market trader in ancient artifacts and antiques. After purchasing the book, the book dealer discovered that not only was the manuscript itself a thing of mystery, but that it contained beautiful and intricate illustrations and a strange unknown language to match. After getting the book itself dated, it was discovered that the parchment dated all the way back to the early 15th century, and that it most likely had been composed in northern Italy during the Italian Renaissance. Further inspections discovered that many pages in the text were missing, either completely torn out by force or lost due to the manuscript's fragility. Even to this day, after allowing the document to be analysed by code crackers and expert cryptologists, no additional information can be made and the unknown language is still yet to be deciphered. Due to this manuscript's strange nature and the time of its origin, many people believe that the work could be that of a secret society or clandestine operation utilising codes that are completely unbreakable without a key for the cipher. Because of this, the Voynich manuscript has been written about and referenced in a wide variety of works, published articles and best-selling books of which have speculated on the strange work's true nature. Unfortunately, it appears that no one has been able to decipher or understand the creation despite using a large amount of different resources to help with the time period and creation. The Bloop and the Julia Sound Back in 1997, a sound was recorded emanating from deep within the ocean in vast, unexplored regions that was so loud that it was actually considered to be one of the loudest sounds on Earth ever recorded. At the time, it was given the nickname the bloop, as the recorded noise mimicked a lot of the sound patterns of marine animals in some ways. The strange thing about this noise was that the sound was so loud for it to have been a sea creature, it would have to emanate from a marine animal larger than the size of most naturally formed islands. Because of this impossible size, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration considers the noise to have been caused by an ice quake, a large, shattering sound caused when massive pieces of underwater ice begin cracking. However, many experts reject this explanation as the noise is too loud for standard ice quake recordings and so has been seen as a mystery requiring more evidence for explanation. Oddly enough, the noise would once again resurface years later in 1999. Nicknamed the Julia Sound, the recording mimicked the original behaviours of the bloop recording and was recorded by a number of different devices that helped to analyse the recording in much greater detail, which helped the audio to be determined closer to a cooing sound or a continuous whining noise. This might be definitive proof that perhaps rather than ice quakes, there appears to be a massive underwater creature deep beneath the ocean's surface. The Weakening of the Magnetic Field Scientists, when mapping out the changes of the electromagnetic field, have found tremendous instances of weakening that do not seem to be even all around the planet. In fact, one of the largest places in which this weakening occurs in the electromagnetic field is that above the continent of Africa. It appears that there has been a dramatic weakening in the field that has been occurring over the last 1,000 years. Experts believe that this could be an instance of magnetic pole reversal slowly taking shape and that the reason as to why this weakening in the electromagnetic field is occurring is due to a very special property the continent possesses. Over the expanse of the South Atlantic anomaly, 
of which is a huge stretch of land that encompasses the distance from Chile to Zimbabwe. The weakening seems to be at its worst in this area. In fact, satellites are incapable of moving over this area as the additional bombardment of radiation and cosmic rays completely damages the technology. Interestingly enough, new data and information shows that several times in the past, such as from 400 to 450 CE, from 700 to 750 CE, and from 1225 to 1550 CE, there was this weakening in the exact same area. This has led research scientists to believe that the geographic location is partially responsible for this weakening and that there seems to be strong evidence to insinuate that the core mantle boundary under Africa could be playing an important part in the global magnetic field. Unfortunately, any additional information surrounding the correlation is completely unknown and scientists are still racing to try to find an answer as to how and why the magnetic field is weakening in this area and what it could mean for the current placement of the magnetic poles. The construction of the pyramids at Giza. Definitely one of the most puzzling mysteries on the planet, the Great Pyramids of Giza have been classified as one of the seven wonders of our world. The sheer size, precision and manpower required to build such a colossal structure is nearly impossible even in the modern era which makes it all the more mysterious that an ancient culture such as one of the first civilizations ever to arise had the engineering capacity and means to create the massive pyramids at Giza. For a reference to the size of the pyramids, each block of the colossal structure weighs roughly 2.5 metric tons, with over 2.3 million blocks making up the entirety of the structure. Not only did this require 315 blocks to be moved in place each day for the next 20 years, but to accomplish such a building scale of delivering the large stones and moving them into place even today would be an impossible feat unable to be matched. If a stone wall was to be made two feet high and four inches wide, using the blocks of the pyramid at Giza, the wall would wrap around the circumference of the entire world. Not only this, but the blocks were made with such perfect precision that each block appears to be an exact clone in size to the rest of the blocks of the pyramid meaning the cut of each stone was so perfect it would be impossible to slide something as thin as a piece of paper between any two stones. The only way to accomplish such a precision cut in the modern era would be to rely on laser guiding and cutting. Additionally, new evidence has surfaced that led researchers to believe that the stones were not cut and moved, but rather that they were casted from moulds. This would make the construction of the pyramid have taken much longer and rely on the mixing of limestone and other chemicals to make an advanced form of concrete lost to time. Considering the overwhelming evidence of the mystery of the pyramids, it is safe to say that it is a complex problem that research scientists won't be able to explain for many more decades, if not centuries. The Baghdad Battery Seen as one of the best pieces of evidence of our ancestors possessing advanced technology far ahead of even our modern age is the discovery of the Baghdad battery. When this item was first discovered back in 1930, many researchers and inventors were just starting to understand complex concepts regarding electricity and its many uses. In fact, it was not until a man by the name of Wilhelm Koning, who was familiar with electroplating techniques, posited forth his theory regarding the possible use of these strange containers to have been tools for electroplating techniques by our ancient ancestors. In his paper, published back in 1938, he mentioned that many artefacts, such as coins and silvery metals, appeared to have a fine outside layer of gold, a phenomenon similar with that of techniques involving electroplating. To test this theory, Wilhelm Koning deconstructed these artefacts and discovered residues hidden inside. By only using what was discovered in these artefacts and the designs used, he accurately recreated the electroplating technique and proved that not only could it have been used to generate a substantial electrical current using nothing more than wines and vinegar, along with other materials found in the region, 
but that the Baghdad batteries created the necessary amount of voltage to cause the electroplating seen in the recovered artifacts that contained a thin layer of gold encasing the sides of silvery metals. This provided irrefutable proof as to the legitimacy of Wilhelm's theory and is seen as one of the greatest pieces of evidence in the ancient astronaut community regarding advanced civilizations of the past. Given the fact that no one can explain as to how and why the uses of electricity would have been necessary for that area in time, it has baffled scientists for decades since its discovery. But what do you all think of these crazy discoveries found all around the world that the world's top research scientists are struggling to find an answer to and seem to be at the centre of a large amount of conspiracy and mystery? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below and be sure to share your answers and questions about the video. Hopefully, as we continue to grow our community, we will one day be able to solve these unexplainable mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.